pirates used a variety of weaponry in order to steal ships and their valuable cargo. The weapons they used were also used by merchant ships, but pirate crews were often made up of sailors who had previous military training, as well as strength in numbers. The average merchantman of the day might have had 30 to 40 sailors, while a pirate ship may have had well over 100. For example, we know that Sam Bellamy had a crew of 145 on the Wittigalli when she sank. Those numbers gave the pirates a considerable advantage. With that being said, pirates preferred if their targets quickly surrendered, but if they had to, they were more than capable at putting up a fearsome fight. Arguably the most well-known pirate weapon was the Cutlass, which is a short, broad saber used for slashing attacks. Cutlasses had either straight or slightly curved blades, sharpened on one edge, and often had a basket-shaped guard. These weapons were very popular during the golden age of piracy, and extremely common on a ship. They were heavy enough to hack through lines, canvas, wood, as well as a person, and also short so they could be used in close quarters during a boarding. Another huge advantage was the ease of use. Cutlasses required much less training than other swords of the day, and the thicker, heavier blade could easily break a smaller sword. Even the hilt was employed as a weapon. It would have been similar to brass knuckles and could easily break a nose or knock a crewman's teeth out. Another common sword was the basket hilt sword. These swords were long and straight with a double-edged blade. It's widely believed Blackbeard was struck down by a sailor brandishing a basket hilt sword during the battle with Lieutenant Maynard. In addition to his sword, most all pirates would have carried some sort of knife for general day-to-day -day utility, as well as for combat. A common type was the gully, and it looked very similar to a modern kitchen knife. They were used with a hacking and slashing motion, and typically only had one side sharpened. Another type of blade commonly carried would have been the dagger. Daggers have edges on both sides of their blades, as well as hilts to protect the user's hand. In combat, they were designed to be thrust into their opponent. There were also types of daggers called parrying daggers, or blade breakers, that were designed to break an opponent's blade. In movies, it's often shown that a dagger is a backup in case a sword was dropped or broken, but that wasn't the case. A common tactic was to use the sword to open, push the opponent off balance, and then strike with the dagger for the kill. Another Hollywood myth is that two men would lock blades inches apart from one another. If they ever got that close, it's almost certain that a dagger would have been thrust in to quickly end the fight. Axes were another commonly used weapon in the arsenal of the pirates. The boarding axe was a long-handled axe and was primarily used as a tool for cutting lines or knocking down doors. When a ship was being boarded, grappling hooks would be thrown across to pull the two ships together, and the axe was the most effective way to cut the lines, as well as the people trying to get onto the ship. The weight of an axe could easily kill a man, and the small size would make it ideal for close quarters combat. This is the first video in a series about the various weapons pirates employed, and more information will be coming. But if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave a comment below. If you're enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to turn on notifications. That helps a lot with getting these videos suggested by YouTube to other people that may like them. We also have links to our PayPal and Patreon below, and if you can help out, that's really appreciated.